Hey everybody, okay, on this video we're gonna go over how to mod your games on Linux, okay? It might not go very extensive, but it covers most of the mods and, and the ideas that you can apply to most of the games, same as uh, on Windows. So we're gonna start with small mods, simpler mods, which are the ones that you just download, you copy them into the folder that the author of the mod mentions, like in this case, and you're done. And it will magically work or get detected by by the game or replace a file in the game that will make the your your, your mod actually um work etc cetera, etc cetera. so this one's better windows it's supposed to make better windows um so and when i say better windows i don't mean windows 11 or something i mean this windows so let's let's go into the game so we can double check How it looks. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City? Called. Okay, so here are the windows. Look at that window. Uh, look at those windows over there. Let's see if there's any difference. Look at those windows over there. Look at my car. Jesus. Okay. So we get a sense of how the windows actually look right now without the mod. Okay. Get out and let's follow the steps. So basically we download the file, which I already did here. Here it is. Uh, I decompress the thing it only has this. Okay, so what should we do? You should unpack that file here. Cyberpunk archive PC mod. Okay, so how do we get there? You right click the game, properties, you go to local files and then browse. That will take you to the game, Cyberpunk 2077. Then we go to archive because that's what the author said, PC and mod. And we paste this here. And that's all. That's all that that author said. So let's play again. And we're gonna see if there's any effects there. Did y'all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City? Called. Okay. You can immediately see that the difference. Okay. They're not so simple anymore. I should want to leave this on here. Completely different the windows. Look at that. It looks like people are actually inside the buildings. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. There they are. Oops. Oh my god. I'm out of here. Okay, so... You saw how easy the install that mod was. There are other mods, they have their own rules, how you, you can do them, this and that. But the most complex ones, at least the, the ones that I found more complex of that, the ones that I needed to make the, the game look better, like uh, The Witcher 3, or in this case, Cyberpunk, all that, they use something called Reshade. So somebody here, uh, Kevin, Kevin Lee Killer, Kevin Lee Killer. <laughs> Uh, he created this, Reshade Linux. Uh, you just download this puppy, give it some executable access, and you execute that that one there. We're going to do that right now, okay, for Cyberpunk 2. So I already did the uh, executable permissions. We run it, and you know it updates itself with things there, like it checks in different uh, gits if it's up to date. Using the latest version of Reshade, do you want to install or uninstall a Reshade from a game? Okay, I want to install it. Put the path to the executable file, not this here. The executable file, not the executable that 
stream is ex executing the executable file of the actual game. So let's go to local files here, browse, and when Steam starts, it actually executes, I think this one or this one, the, one of those two. But those are the launchers. Those are not the actual executable file. Typically the executable file will be like in a folder called bin or something along those lines. So the actual executable file is here, Cyberpunk 2077, okay? So on Ubuntu and maybe others, you press Control L and you're able to select the whole URL here. URL. Copy that. And if you middle click the mouse, if you middle click, it pastes on a terminal. Okay. On some cases, it won't work depending on what's waiting for you. So you can just right click and paste. But do know that you have uh, both cases. Okay. So uh, well, let me remove that. Say four, press enter. Is this a correct path? Yes, it is. It's going to attempt to detect the right DLS and you know, all, all the things that need to be um, injected so the reshape works. Uh, it detected a 64 bit game. Yep, correct. Run it there. Okay. And now, do note this, if you're using Steam, right click the game, click properties and set the launch options to this, okay? I'm not gonna put the command because it's already there, but I need to add this here, okay? It also mentions, and let me put this here so I don't forget, put it here in the beginning, Oop, that's it. But let's go to console so we can read the, the second part, the last part. The next time you start the game, open the reshade settings, go to settings tab. If they're missing, add the shaders folder location, the effects, blah, 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 blah. This part is for additional, but basically mods that will use the reshade. So on the, on the reshade folder, uh, you need to put this, these things in. Uh, let me see, reshade, shaders folder. I go to home and do this and do that, okay. Um, I'm going to go to home here and because I executed the file here, I think it's in local, put local here. Reshade, there it is, local, okay. So we got local, share, reshade, and here's where they're saying uh, if you get a mod, you know, that, they, that you gotta, I haven't tested this here because I haven't found one. Uh, the, the actual reshade had the effects that I wanted immediately, but I'm going to be doing another video about this. So you're supposed to put the, the mods that you will use a reshade or have a better reshade in these folders. Reshade shaders, I'm guessing here, these are the ones that are there by default. Um, so we'll be testing this out with other mods that use reshade, but right now we're just gonna be playing with reshade alone. So it says here um, that after I start the game, I can press the home key, okay? So let's start the game. Let's see what's gonna happen uh, with reshade there. Install, without a mod using it, just the default reshade, the, the effects that come by default with a reshade. So here you can see at the top, there's like a gray line there and it says something about press home for me to show the the reshade effects so let's do it let's do it because the reshade is one of the toughest ones to actually care for the game but again here we are i'm gonna press home look at that baby look at that baby okay so here at the top we have add-ons we have settings statistics Tell us a lot of stuff. Info, etc. etc. But let's let's go to home. Here are all the reshades. So what happens if I click on cartoon? I, I wanna show you the game. Look at that. There's a bit of a difference. Looks like well I'm guessing it's applying cartoon effect or something. Um let's say ASCII. Load. So now we're in 1990. 
We have. Okay. Um. What's this after? Before? Okay. Ambient lighting. So it makes it a little bit lighter. Um. Death 3D. Well, I don't know what it did, but it killed the game. I'm assuming there's some shaders that we can use here. Oh, he actually said it. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the game. Okay, we're finding out some of the shaders. Can apply them in real time. Or maybe in this game. Could be that too. Let's keep on testing the other ones. I know I did find one cool one that actually made the the game more, let's say, sharper. I don't know, it, lo it looked better for me. Um, let me see if I can find it, because there's a lot. Like, look at all this. There's, there's a lot. Um, like you can do... See? See? You can do stuff like that. Hint. That one gives some nice coloring there. Sepia kind of color. Looks looks better. Even that ad over there. Uh, you can mix them, by the way. Here's Lum Luma Lightroom Level Plus. Holy crap! Makes the game a lot darker. But the cool thing is that you can you can start mixing and matching them and maybe you you have um um a combination that would look super cool. Surface blur. Makes the whole thing blur. What happens with this one? Motion blur. I'm assuming that if I move things yeah, okay, things start getting blurry. Oh, this looks like GTA 3. If you ever play GTA 3, like everything, they actually abuse that motion blur and blurry effects. Levels. Okay. Um, let's see what interesting effects we can find here. Bloom. It's just minor things that I'm guessing if you start summing them up all to get level plus. No. Leia. Oh, lol. Okay. Star Wars. Yeah, and it looks like you you you're able to configure some of the things here for for each of the effects. See what else we can find here? Chroma key. A movie looming. Okay. Boom. Whoa. Oh. Uh, I was not checking the if the FPS was actually getting impacted by all these changes. Holy Jesus. No. Feels like you're inside a mist and thing. Uh, let's remove the bloom. The impact. Uh, it didn't do anything. So yeah. So now we got reshade installed here, and there's so many things that you can do now with it. This is the base for a lot of the graphics uh, modifying mods that you see in, in a lot of the games. Okay? But at least you were able to find out. How you can install it and also how you can uninstall it because it's the same it's the same thing like you run the reshade instead of saying install you uninstall and you put the path and you're done it removes it from the game this is this is pretty cool um so uh, thanks uh kevin the killer the killer um 
for you know for doing this and this is basically opening up a lot of doors to everybody especially if you want to mod the game so i hope that this video helps big hugs to everybody and think positive